be about parenting. First of all, I just want to say it is a lot of mothers and a lot of fathers out here who want to become friends with their children. And I am here to tell you that, in my opinion, that is a definite no-no. That is rule number one. You do not become friends with your kids. You want to be an example and you want to be a role model for your children. Let's talk about moms and daughters for one. As you guys know, I do have a daughter. You've seen her on YouTube with me. The relationship that I have with my daughter is I'm your mom and you're the daughter. And basically, you're going to do what it is that I tell you to do. But not only that, I am going to be an example of what it is and how it is you are supposed to behave and the woman you are supposed to become. Because that's the mistake that we make. We always want to give our kids everything. And, you know, sometimes we may have come up in a childhood where your parents may have struggled and you don't want to be the same way. And I do agree with becoming a better person, becoming a better parent than the parents that you had. And you may have had awesome parents, but it could be some things that they did that you didn't really agree with. So you kind of put that over to the side and then you take all the good qualities in and you raise your family. I also have two sons and it is important for a mother to have a relationship with her sons because through the mother is how they are going to learn how to treat women, rather it be their girlfriend or eventually a wife one day. Now with them, it's the same thing. I'm not your friend. I'm your mother. You're going to respect me. You do have an opinion, but at the same time, I have the last word. I have the last say, basically. And when you get old enough to run your own household, then you make your own decisions. And that's the relationship I have with them. I do not dress provocative um, around my sons or, you know, at all for that matter because I'm a mom. And they look at that regardless of how you look at it. Now, the relationship they have with their dad, my husband is there to show my daughter what type of male figure she needs in her life when she becomes an adult. That's what her dad is there for, to be a role model for her of how a man is to treat a woman. And the same thing with the boys is how a man should treat a woman. Parents, you cannot be afraid to be stern with your children. You, you do not be afraid to have some kind of discipline for your children and some kind of guidelines for your children. You need to instill in them that, you know, you have your spirituality first, you have your family second, and then you have your career or whatever else third because they learn values and morals from home. And regardless of how you look at it, they will always carry those morals and values with them forever. And the age from one to seven, those are the most important stages of your child's life. That's when they learn everything. I mean, they're absorbing everything. And you may ask, well, how do you know? What makes you an expert? I have studied and I do have a degree um, in child development. So it is really important. Whatever you do with that child between the ages of one to five is very detrimental. They pick up so much and they learn so much within that time. And regardless of what road they may take when they get a little bit older, Unless it's something like drugs. But even then, you know, they always remember and they come back to what they were taught and what they learned when they were children. And it's going to be, was my mom my friend or my father my friend, the homie? You know, was we allowed to kick it or could we really depend on them to take care of us and to give us good advice and to help us to grow into responsible, mature law-abiding citizens and that's pretty much what you want because if you don't have some control over your children you best believe that the law surely will have some control over them it may be some parents out there like am I too hard on my kids because you do you feel guilty when you have to discipline them and I'm not saying physical 
abuse or anything like that. So don't twist my words up. I'm just saying how sometimes you have to give your children tough love because they're being out of hand or out of control and you have to take things away or whatever your form of discipline is. I don't know what that is, but some parents, they feel guilty about that and you should not feel guilty about it. You have to be the parent. You have to be the responsible one. You have to be the one to make good decisions for them and yourself, your family, you know, you know, to make sure that they are okay because they don't know any better. That's why they are children in their own right, because you are responsible to take them and lead them. I'm just so tired of seeing parents compromising for the sake of their kids, you know. Oh, well, I didn't wear name brand clothes when I was a kid. Not realizing that you came from a single parent home. Your mom was working to keep the lights, the gas, the phone, um, and the rent or the mortgage paid at the time. So instead of, um, you know, doing this, I'm going to go ahead and give my kids this sort of thing. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having nice things, but you need to take care of responsibility first. That's just most important. Or... You know, giving your kids the the PSPs and the Playstations and the Nintendo Wii's and the DS and every time something new comes out, you know, they wearing blazers, they got Supras. And you know, I'm not I'm not sitting here telling you not to do it because my kids have those things, but the difference is is that they have to work extremely hard, excuse me, in order to get that. The most important thing you can spend on a child, I'm I'm gonna tell you. The most important thing you could spend on a child is time. You buying them, you know, all this stuff at Christmas time or for birthdays or whatever that is. That's not what they're going to remember. They're not going to remember when they get like 30. Oh, when I turned six, my mom bought me a mongoose bike. Or, you know, when I turned 13, I got the new Supras that was out or the new Vans or the new Blazers. Or, you know, if you want to step it up a notch, I got the Manolo Blahniks or, you know, a gold chain. You know, with my name engraved on it. They're not going to remember that. What they will remember is when I was seven years old, my mom and dad took me on a picnic. They took me on a bike ride. They took me to get ice cream every time I made good grades in school. That's the kind of stuff that they remember. So I just wanted to come to you guys with that. Just to let you know that it's okay to be a friendly parent, but it's not okay to be friends with your child. In that aspect, it's not okay for you to sit up there and drink with your kids. It's not okay for you to sit up there and use drugs with your kids. Because this is what I'm seeing. It's upsetting. You know, this world is crazy right now. And that's the problem. You know, we losing our parents. We're losing the parents. And parents need to be parents to their kids. I'm just asking you guys, can you guys please, please be parents to your children. I'm tired of being out in the grocery market seeing kids screaming and throwing tantrums because they can't have a piece of candy and then they're sitting up here looking at the parent like, you know, you're going to give it to me because I said so. And then the parent is like, okay, Johnny, I'm going to get it for you. I'm sick of seeing kids in the store cussing their parents out and their parents think it's okay. I'm tired of seeing parents in the store like literally debating with their parents. Dude, who are you? You don't sit here and question my authority. This is not a democracy, homie. You know what I mean? You you don't do that. I'm telling you guys. If nobody ever told you before, I am telling you now. That it is not cool for you to be friends with your kids. Even when they become adults to a certain um, degree because you want to always maintain a certain level of respect. That's like me. I don't sit here, you know, as grown as I am, as 39 year old as I am. I don't sit here and get drunk with my mother. I'm not going to curse in front of my mother. I'm not. That's because my mom demanded a certain um, amount of, of respect from me. And I have that respect for my mom. And I expect the same kid thing from my kids. So you guys, let's just stand up and be parents. Please, people. All right. And if you are a child, an adult, who don't have respect for your mom or your dad, regardless if they have respect for themselves, you need to get some. Because you are the one who is responsible and will be held responsible. For rather you had that respect or not. All right, you guys. So I wish you peace. Love and lots and lots of blessings.
Bye now.